heard repeatedly with respect to the statements about violence in Israel that Israel has a legitimate right to self-defense, but we're not hearing about the Palestinians' right to self-defense. Why is that, and does the president believe that Palestinians have a right to self-defense? Well, let me first say, I think it's important to note, as I think you'd agree, that these rockets are coming uh, and these attacks are coming from Hamas, and many Palestinian people are put, being put in danger because of the violence that is happening back and forth. And the president, in his uh, great statement yesterday, uh, also um, made clear that we um, you know, uh, he underscored the importance of working to advance peace throughout the region, including between Israelis and Palestinians. Any loss of life, any threat to life, um, which we've certainly seen, is a tragedy. That's what we're working to de-escalate and try to reduce uh, in the region. But why not have in the statement that Palestinians also have a right to self-defense? Are, the, are the attacks not coming from Hamas? Do you consider Hamas the Palestinian leadership? Let me rephrase the question then. You've repeatedly in the statements condemned the rocket attacks. Mm -hmm. Does the White House, does the Biden administration also condemn the evictions of Palestinians from their homes in occupied We Israel? have spoken to that in our readouts. And certainly our national security advisor has raised and we have raised at many levels.